When this new generation was announced, the buzzwords were 60 FPS and 4K. I did a video on FPS already, so I wanted to do one on resolution coming from the perspective of console gaming. Like FPS, we are in a similar situation with resolution. We of course have examples of games being able to provide great gaming experiences at 4K, but like 60 FPS, it's the exception to the general rule. 4K being the target resolution at all is excessive and unnecessary. Beautiful for sure, but unnecessary. Gamers at large repeatedly place importance on the performance of a game over resolution, and that's where the importance should lie. With this in mind, I want to ask, why was 4K the target resolution for this generation? Many know the answer, but I still want to discuss it. The answer is simple. Mainstream technology, specifically TV technology, was at 1080p for many years. In the past few years, 4K technology has become prominent. I am sure there are a ton of reasons and background needed to fully understand why the leap specifically to 4K was made, but for the purposes of this video, all that extra information is irrelevant. What is relevant is that the leap to 4K was made, and the broader public has adopted it more and more, and it is now the standard. Heck, there are great budget 4K TVs right now, some not much more than their 1080p counterparts, so there is no reason to not adopt the technology now. And with TV adoption, consoles needed to adapt to that. To this day, only a small percentage of console gamers utilize monitors. Most still use TVs as their display of choice, so if the standard is 4K, of course Sony and Microsoft would want to target 4K resolutions for their newest generation of consoles. So with this brief background, it makes total sense why 4K is the target resolution, but there is a major issue with that. 4K gaming is ridiculously demanding to an unnecessary extent. In fact, based off gaming history, 4K never made sense for this generation of consoles. Instead, 1440p would have been the natural evolution. You may be confused as to why, so let me explain. Each console for every generation has its target resolution, of course, but for simplicity, I'll show you the max resolution each console can output at. I'm a PlayStation guy, obviously. The PlayStation 1 mostly played games at 240p, but could actually output to 480i. The PlayStation 2's max output resolution was 480i or 480p. The PlayStation 3's was 1080i or 1080p, and the PS4 was also 1080i or 1080p. As a quick aside, the I stands for interlaced, while the P stands for progressive. Both are different display formats. Basically, P is better, which is why that's the standard nowadays. Anyways, the PlayStation 5 theoretically can support 8K gaming, but it's not powerful enough to actually run any game at that resolution, so we'll say 4K is the max. Side note, I did not include the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X here, which did support 4K, but again, the games using the Pro consoles for 4K were few and far between, and 4K really only worked on graphically non-intensive titles. Anyway, this photo does a good job of reflecting where TV technology was at the time of each console's release. So once again, it all ties back to where TV technology's standard is at, and the console will follow. Thus we have our problem. Do you notice any numbers a little off to you here? Something that stands out. Do I need to zoom in any closer? The PlayStation 1 released in 1994, while the PlayStation 4 released 19 years later in 2013. Over those 19 years, resolution in consoles went from 480p to 1080p. In terms of pixel count, 720p is just over double what 480 is, and 1080p is just over double what 720 is. That happened over 19 years. The PlayStation 5 released in 2020, seven years after the PS4. The target is 4K, which is four times that of 1080p in pixel count. Do you think this is a problem? I understand technology develops faster in some areas, but this leap is unprecedented for console gaming. Looking at this again, does 4K really make sense here? Because it seems to me that we skipped a generation. To me, it makes perfect sense that the next leap in consoles would have yielded 1440p as a resolution, which is approximately double 1080p in pixel count. Since consoles have always been tied to TV technology, which historically has taken baby steps over the years, it is now a problem when such a giant leap is made. But that does not mean consoles were still required to target 4K, so why has Sony and Microsoft not made great graphical modes with 1440p instead of 4K? Well, since 4K TVs have such a higher pixel count, 1440p would not look as good on those displays. Back in the day, playing 720p on a 1080p TV wouldn't really show much of a difference. TVs were also smaller the further you go back in time, which also comes into play, ultimately allowing for less noticeable differences in display. 
However, there is a significant difference in pixels here between 1440p and 4K, so it does make sense, at least from a technical viewpoint, as to why 1440p should not be the highest target resolution for these consoles. But to someone making this argument, I say, with all due respect, who the hell cares? I've had my 4K TV since 2018, and all I ever did was play PS4 games targeting 1080p until the PS5 released. At no point when I was playing these beautiful games did I ever complain about the resolution looking bad. Heck, I just played Mario Kart 8 the other night on my 4K TV, and I really didn't notice anything to complain about. Now, of course, side-by-side -side comparisons show the true difference, but for most people, no average gamer is going to notice. There are people who looked at the PS4 versus PS5 comparisons for Horizon Forbidden West and God of War Ragnarok and said there was almost no difference. Trust me when I say the average gamer wants a great gaming experience, and most won't recognize 1440p resolution being a problem on 4K TVs. There is an additional problem with 4K rendering as well. Similar to how going from 30 FPS to 60 is a huge jump, going from 1080p to 4K requires massive graphical and processing power. Even for most new games, there is upscaling going on to even reach that resolution of 4K. For simplicity, rendering a frame at 1080p is one quarter the processing power needed to do 4K. In other words, rendering a frame at 4K essentially is rendering four 1080p frames. That's an incredible amount of power needed, power that could have gone towards other areas like improving FPS. Even look at PC gaming right now. That sweet spot striving to be achieved is 1440p with good performance. Once again, PC gives you the option to do whatever resolution works for you as long as you can support it, while PlayStation didn't even support 1440p until well after the release of the PlayStation 5. From a 4K gaming viewpoint, these consoles could be considered a disappointment, but with proper perspective, I don't think 4K is something these consoles should ever have been judged on. Looking at history, this should have been the generation of 1440p. Judging these consoles at 1440p would have changed life for many developers, and possibly the expectations as well. Instead, we have Sony and Microsoft to blame for setting these expectations and trying to target 4K all the time. Then we have developers basically required to try and make these 4K modes run well, or else be castrated by the industry for not meeting their 4K standards. With all the technical issues and upscaling needed to be used in so many games today to even reach some sort of 4K frame, things may have changed for these devs if the high resolution target was 1440p instead. Of course, if that was the case, I would still want performance to be at 60fps at that resolution, but that's a discussion for another day. Ultimately, history tells us what this generation's resolution should have been, 1440p. Unfortunately, it's not. However, I don't blame gamers for being upset when games can't run 4K very well, or when gamers get frustrated at 4K modes that only run at 30fps. These expectations stem from the companies who make these consoles, and they are the ones to blame. Though 4K is the standard with TVs, they still could have targeted 1440p gaming. Expectations would have been different. Things would have been different and I may not have needed to make a video about it, but here I am, I guess. And on that note, this video is pretty much over, so I'd like to thank everyone for watching again, and I will see you all in the next video.